In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a debt avalanche spreadsheet to help you pay off all of your high interest debt as fast as possible. The entire focus of the debt avalanche spreadsheet or the debt avalanche method is to focus on paying off your debt with the highest interest rate first in order to save money on interest rate in the long run on the length of your loan. Because mathematically, it makes sense to save money on interest. So you're gonna start right here with a blank spreadsheet. I've titled this Debt Avalanche Example. You could title it Debt Avalanche Spreadsheet. If you don't wanna go through all the rigmarole of actually making this yourself, I've got a free download. It's actually a debt snowball spreadsheet download, but you can use the exact same like style method of that. Just put your high interest rate credit card first or your high interest rate debt first as you're building that. And it comes with a lot of this already pre-formatted. So if you wanna jump to that, it's down in the description, download that. Um, we're going to start off in actually column B with our payment. We do not need a caps lock though. Next, we're going to have our loan name. So loan or debt one. And I'm going to put the interest rate in there. This one's going to have 15%. I'm going to do payment for my next debt, which is going to be debt two, an interest rate of 7%, our payment, and then debt three, interest rate of 5%. All right, after that, the next column down or next row, we're gonna do our total amount owed for each one. And so I've got $20,000 owed on our highest interest debt. I have 30,000 owed on this debt and I have 10,000 owed on this debt. All right, and I've already have those formatted to numbers. If you don't know how to do that, you can just drag across here, make sure that our formatting is set to money because we're using currency. And just another formatting thing, I'm actually gonna set this up as um, to freeze the top two rows so that no matter how far I scroll down, I can always see the top loan balances. Next up, we're gonna plug in our minimum balances. So for this one, a minimum balance is gonna be $600. I actually looked up a what a minimum balance would be on a $20,000 credit card debt, and it said that it takes about 3% of the total amount of loan for the minimum payment, so that's gonna be $600. This one I made up a number of 200, and this one, or 250 and 200 for each of those. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag those down super far, because that's gonna represent our minimum payment that we're making every single month of that debt as we continue to pay it off. So I'm just gonna, again, drag these down a while. We might not need all that dragging down, um, but if we do, it's there. All right, so I've got all those down. Next up, we need our months and dates on the left-hand side so we can track as we're paying off our debts each month how far down it goes, and to calculate our approximate debt-free date, which is my favorite part of making a spreadsheet like this because you get to figure out when approximately you'll be debt-free. So I'm making this in May of 2023, and I'm actually going to put in a formula for this to make this easier. So the formula is gonna be E date, and I'm gonna click on the cell above it, the May date, a comma, and then one. So we'll add one month to each of those. And I'm going to format that to be centered because I like centered things on my spreadsheets. And I should just be able to drag that down forever and it's going to keep doing that. That saves us a lot of time and effort in manually entering the month and year for each of these dates, which is what I did the first handful of times I made these spreadsheets. And it was a pain. So I've got to straight down to February 2035. Hopefully we're all debt free by then, according to this formula. All right, so next up, we're gonna add in our formula that's actually gonna automatically calculate an approximate payment with the interest rate added back in. This isn't gonna be exact. I'm not fancy enough with formulas to make it exact. So this has been good enough for any spreadsheet that I've made to give us a good approximation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the equals left parenthesis. We're going to take our total amount and we're gonna subtract our payment, right? But we also have to add back in that interest rate for each month because we know that credit cards accrue interest all the time and it's a major pain. So what I'm gonna do is just calculate on my phone. I'm gonna take our total debt times our interest rate, which is 15% or 0.15. And then I'm gonna divide that by 12 and it's gonna be approximately $250 at least this first month in interest that we're adding back in. So we're really only making a $350 payment from that 600. And now I'm just gonna drag this down and it's going to automatically calculate that payment every single month that I have a minimum payment in that payment column. All right, cool, and actually it's gone um, right here. So I, I drug down way too far, y'all. So if making the minimum payments on this high interest credit card 
will pay it off in about five years, which isn't actually terrible considering that credit cards are horrible or credit card debt is horrible. All right, we're gonna actually repeat that process for the next two loans and we're gonna see how quickly we can pay those off. So I'm just gonna do that um, for this one and then I'll fast forward it um, after this. If you wanna just fast forward it yourself, you can jump to the next section of this. Total amount minus our minimum payment and we're gonna add back in that approximate interest. So 30,000 times 0.07 divided by 12, there's actually gonna be about 175 back on, which is really terrible. <laughs> they we're only making a $75 payment every month. All right, so you can see that this one is going down much, 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 much slower than the previous one. So I'm gonna drag this one down as far as we can go. All right, so once again, our total amount minus our minimum payments plus, oops, plus adding in our approximate monthly interest. <laughs> This one's actually going to get paid off relatively quickly too, which is amazing. All right, right here. So we're going to be debt free in no time, y'all. All right, so right now I have this set up as if we're hopefully going to be debt free. Um, we're paying off these loans. We've got one in February 2028. We've got our actually smallest debt in January of 2029. And this big behemoth $30,000 debt um, is still going strong in February of 2035. The thing I love about both the debt snowball and the debt avalanche method is that it takes your minimum payments and once you've paid off a debt, it rolls them into the next debt that you are targeting. In this case, we're targeting our next highest interest rate, which is the 7%. And so what I'm gonna do is here, once I've paid this off, I'm going to take this $600 and I'm going to now attach it to this next debt of now $25,000. So this is now going to be $850 minimum payment. And we're going to enter that in one box and we're going to drag that down until this one starts to go negative, which actually does not take very long at all. We are debt. This one is gone here. So I'll get rid of all of that. So now in May of 2031, this one is gone. So that is, again, our next debt-free date, May of 2031. So we're looking at eight years approximately. But we've also got this one, this third debt, which was gone in July of 2028. So what we can also do with that is we can take this extra $200 and starting right here, we can actually roll that $200 over here to make this $1,000. $50 and our original date was May of 2031. And now we're going to change that dramatically, actually. Maybe not as dramatically as I wanted it to. <laughs> but definitely we're getting out of debt faster. We actually cut eight months, six months off of that. So we're looking at paying this off in a little over seven years using only minimum payments with the debt avalanche method with this debt avalanche spreadsheet. But I'm willing to bet you could probably do that faster if you applied some additional payments along the way. For example, if you get an extra paycheck month and applied an extra $500 to one of your principal payments for that month, it's going to take off actually probably several months um, of your payment by making that one extra payment. Or if you just are able to add $20 or $30 extra per month to your minimum payments on the loan you're really targeting, it's going to dramatically decrease the amount of time it takes you to pay off that debt, which is going to be amazing. You can do this with as many debts as you have and plug them all in and play around with adding extra payments, adding an extra $20 a month to really see how that changes your debt repayment. I have a few more videos on using Google Sheets or Excel to track your spending with a budget for managing your sinking funds and paying off debt just like this. Um, if you check out the description for more related videos, um, and specifically this next one coming up, which is how to save money and organize your sinking funds in one simple Excel or Google Sheets.